what is good ape nation it's stock j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock and where i see the share price going for next week in my previous video i told you guys that i thought amc would drop today and a lot of people disagreed with me but that is what ended up happening and i do have a different outlook for next week i'm also going to talk about what's going on with this amc token that a lot of people are talking about is this real is this legit what does this mean for the amc squeeze and what do i expect out of this i'm also going to talk about the data the ortex data and all that typical stuff that we often go about to help you understand the fact that the play is still alive it's not dead and things are still looking amazing for amc now before i talk about amc do any technical analysis and talk about everything you need to know going into next week i do have to mention a couple of things real quick the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but it's the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description something amazing about Mumu is they do not use payment for order flow and on top of that if you sign up with my link down below and deposit a hundred dollars you are going to get six free stocks each worth up to three thousand five hundred dollars once again that's free money and you could always sell these six free stocks for whether it's a hundred dollars two hundred dollars a thousand dollars sell them for cash and use that to buy some amc stock for free this is a limited time offer to get some free amc shares it ends at the end of the month so please check it out to get your amc shares for free with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc right now we're down about 2.75 percent and in my previous video I talked about the fact that I did think it was possible for AMC to drop below $18, and I thought that we would definitely hold above, I would say, that $17.50 range. That is what, what ended up happening, but we actually ended up on top of the 200 moving average for a lot of time. That's a very good sign, in my opinion, because it appears, and I'm not guaranteeing this, right? But this is what I, I think this chart is suggesting. We found our bottom already. The bottom was 1694. Remember, we touched that, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, I believe it was yesterday. We touched 1694, got a bounce. I think that's our bottom. And after that, I would not be surprised if this thing starts to actually run up just slightly going into next week because I think it's looking very, very good right now. Now, I'm not just saying this because, yeah, we love AMC, but we can't just be emotional. We have to actually be objective. We have to look at what the data is showing. So why would I be so bullish going into next week? Let's look at the SPY real quick. What is the SPY telling us? This thing kind of dropped I wouldn't say it was super hard, but it had a bit of a drop, I guess, from a lot of this week. It was a short week, and I am actually pretty bullish for the SPY going into next week. Now, I can't promise anything, but I will tell you one thing, and that is we have this gap right here at 4, 4, what is that, 4, 4, 6.7. So it's very possible for the SPY to actually run up and fill that gap in the 4, 4, 6 range. I would not be surprised if we actually ended up running right there because for parts of you know, a couple of days ago, we were actually in that $448 range and the SPY ended up taking a bit of a hit because of everything going on with the CPI data, the news, everything like that. And we are trading below the 200 moving average. And we had that 1348 EMA crossover for that drop. But I would expect, in my opinion, considering we have earnings for Tesla and a lot of earnings coming out and we have this gap on the SPY, I would not be surprised if the SPY started to run up at least a few dollars and i do think it's going to fill that 446 gap and maybe start trading that 448 range maybe go as high as 450 and i do think that's going to help amc push up as well i think amc is going to push right back up to the 20 dollar range in just a couple of days a couple of trading days is what i mean and i am going to be a lot more bullish now i want to talk about what we're seeing from other technical indicators real quick if you look at the three months chart using some two hour candles because i typically like to do that AMC hit that uh, downward trend. We're in that falling wedge-like formation. And it seems like we found our bottom. We got that bounce off 1694. We got that flip from the MACD, the nine-day moving average. And AMC looks like it wants to start ascending in the upwards direction. Now, there was a change in the emergency response regulations for the virus. So like I said before, take this with a grain of salt. You never know if something really bad could happen. But right now, as long as things stay afloat, as long as we continue like this, I think AMC is going to run next week. And I think I would not be surprised if we saw this thing start starting to trade in the $20 range. And I do think that could be a clear sign of a reversal. Now, there are other people that talk about the fact that, yeah, there's all this manipulation. But the thing is, this manipulation can only take AMC 
down so much. I mean, this thing still held up pretty darn well despite all the shares, the fake shares that were printed out over and over again. It was doing quite fine. And we ended up closing with like 23,000 or almost 24,000 calls in the money. Not horrible. I mean, it, it's not good, so to speak. It's not great compared to how many calls were out of the money, but it's not horrible, right? Compared to before. So for me, we're seeing improvement. AMC does look like it wants to go. And looking at the Ortex data, we could see all the same things. I keep going over this just to remind you guys, right? I think a lot of people need the reminder. They need some DD and research. The reminder is that, look, shorts haven't covered. Nothing has changed. You shouldn't even worry too much about the shorts. We still have around 20% short interest from Ortex. It could easily be way higher. Days to cover, a little bit down. Cost to borrow, it, it, it's showing that it's starting to go up. That's a good sign, but I, I think other sources don't necessarily confirm that. But right now, things are looking better. Same old manipulation, 49% off the exchange volume. The same old things over and over again. But the volume is trying up, okay? I want you guys to notice this. The volume is trying up. We're at 25 million for the volume of today. Now, let's time travel back to, let's let's go back to like June. One of the things you're going to notice, let me uh, bring up the volume just real quick. One of the things you're going to notice is there was a moment in June, and I'm not saying we always have to run exactly how we did in the past, but there was that moment where we started dropping on low volume. I mean, I could show you guys right here. If you zoom into the charts, we had this moment where we ran up. We went from like eight bucks all the way up to like 15. We almost doubled in value. That's kind of similar to AMC going from like the $14 range all the way up to 34. It's similar. Then we started dropping on lower volume. Remember, we had 229 million in volume. Then we had a red day with 220 million. Then we had 162 million, 170 million. What is that? 30 million. It's about 25 million down to like, I don't know where that is, like uh, 16 million. It, was, it went really, really low before we started that reversal phase. So many people speculate that this is where we would be on this fractal. We're seeing that big drop. I don't want to guarantee that because like I said before, fractals are not always going to be the same. But this could be what we're seeing. Guys, check this out right here. When we ran up to that $34 range on that day, we had $215 million in volume. And the next day, we saw, what is that? A $100 million, then $95 million, down to uh, $48 million. We started staying in the 40 million range. And now we just got to $25 million and we got you know this big drop. So falling wedges, obviously very bullish. And AMC made a higher low, right? You can draw a trend line kind of like this. You can actually make a very long one. Uh, I'm not going to extend it, but you guys could see. We made that higher low. And it does appear like we're going to hold up in this range. AMC is getting stronger support. So it still looks quite bullish in my opinion. And I would not be surprised if we got that bounce and started trading the $20 range very, very soon. So anyways... The last thing I want to talk about is this right here. A lot of people are talking about this interesting AMC uh, spinoff, and they're actually citing the source from Yahoo Finance that claims that the Ape Movement community announces the official debut of the AMC token. Okay, we never did that. And I think it was very irresponsible for whoever wrote that article or published it, the people behind it to do that. This is not confirmed. I don't know if this is really what they're trying to do. I mean... Are we trying to create our own MOAS? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just not confirmed. We don't have enough data to make that claim. I don't see how this is really going to help us during a, a MOAS situation. And to me, don't worry about things like this. There's not just one magical catalyst that's going to cause the MOAS overnight. I don't see it that way. It's the DD, the research we're doing, that's very important. And I, I still you know, respect every single person that's a part of this movement. I just wanted to put it out that I don't, I don't have that confirmation, so I can't really make that claim. But other than that, it does not matter because AMC is looking better, and I'm still very, very bullish going into next week and for the future. Anyways, I want to thank you all for listening. I'm extremely excited for the upcoming weeks for AMC. And I can't wait for what the future holds because I'm very, very bullish, and I do see some big moves coming for the future. Anyways, thank you for listening. Enjoy the weekend. The market is closed for tomorrow in commemorance of Good Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.